So let's go into that because I believe all my audience members have, we all have room to grow, right? And this is a, a wide open space where we can grow in this area. So let's talk about that. Perfect. Actually, it's my favorite topic to talk about. And I don't know if you noticed so far, I have an accent because I'm from Venezuela. I grew up there, so I'm Hispanic. And one of the things that I realized in last year was that Amazon provides a, an experience both in the website and in the app completely in Spanish, meaning that every single area of the page is in Spanish, the listings are in Spanish, everything that you can see is in Spanish. The only thing that doesn't translate is the reviews. Reviews are not translated because they remain in the, in the uh, native or in the language that was written. So they don't translate that, but everything else gets translated. So it was super curious because the story was last year, uh, on Christmas, it was not the Christmas of 2021. My mom came to visit and she was buying stuff on Amazon. And, and when she was showing me the listings, it's like, hey, this is what I want to buy. I'm like, what is this? Like, what is that you're buying? I don't understand. Like, it was something super simple, like nail clippers, right? Mm -hmm. And she was looking into a listing that was horrible, but it was horrible because it was translated into Spanish. So the title was like, five words and it didn't have bullet points and the pictures were like all, cr all crazy no a plus content and i'm like i i don't understand what is that you're looking for and i realized then that she was using the app in spanish right because my mom speaks spanish so she needs that because she cannot navigate through the amazon.com in english and then that was like oh this is interesting and i became uh, I started researching about it and I realized that the algorithm for the results in Spanish is different from the algorithm that we have in English. So, for example, you are selling uh, a plant, right? You're selling roses. And if you put in English, bouquet of roses, you're going to be in the number one uh, in their organic position, right? But if you look for this, the same keyword or, or a keyword that is a synonym of that in Spanish, a, a similar translation, you could be in page number seven, you know, position 100 mm -hmm. instead of number one. Why? Because they have a completely different uh, algorithm that rearrange results based on your input of those keywords in Spanish. So that to me, that was the first thing that was mind blowing. I'm like, what is going on? Because what, what I'm talking about is you, you are, if you're selling on Amazon, you are already selling to the Hispanic user. This is not a thing. I'm, what I'm talking about is not like, oh, create a new SKU, make a new offer. No, 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 no. You are already doing it because Amazon is translating that information for you. And the caveat here is that they don't do it proactively. Hmm. So it's not like, for example, you improve your SEO, you improve, you improve your title with new, new keywords or new bullet points. Amazon is not going proactively to translate that for you. They, they have like a legacy translation in the back end and they will use the things that they had in the back. So that was the first thing that I'm like, oh, wow, this is impressive because we and I think a lot of people are missing out. And then the second part was when I started researching into the demographics of the Hispanic market, the Hispanic demographic in the U.S. is the fastest growing mm -hmm. in, the, in, in the States, right? Uh, the amount of, of people are in, in the States right now, the ones that are accounted by the, by the federal census was yeah. 70 million. Mm. And that was in 2020. I believe so yeah. so 2023 we're in 2023 that probably is way higher that was one thing and then another part of the demographic another insight that I that that was super interesting is that 75 percent of them are millennials or younger mm -hmm. so they're native shoppers they they grew up with the internet they are accustomed to buy online so they are already your clients probably on Amazon. But the problem is, and, and this is and this is true now, now putting my hat as a Hispanic uh, person, 
this demographic is extremely underserved. And what I mean by underserved is they don't have, so for example, you create a Shopify a, a website. I'll say 99% of the people don't care about uh, translating that website into other languages. Mm -hmm. Even though there are 70 million people in the United States that speak Spanish and would like to see that content, I would like to, you know. So most things online that are around shopping are like Google translated, right? Mm -hmm. So so you know when you go to a listing on Amazon and you see like a, a weird uh title that you you because you're a native english speaker you can't know i like in three seconds you know if that was written by somebody that was non-native yeah you know so imagine having that everywhere all the time mm. right so so that part makes it really difficult for that community to engage with your brand to you know to be loyal to understand what you're selling so most things are like okay who is from all of the things that i'm having here who's the one that make does it better so right now amazon provides you the platform to have that communication, to, to improve your listings for the Spanish experience and to sell to them. The other thing that I know, thanks to, to my connections and the people I know on Amazon, at, at Amazon, uh, they told me that there is there are 39 million Prime members that use the, the experience, both the website and the app in the phone, in Spanish. So from those 70 million that are in the States, 39 are already uh, shopping on that's Amazon. that's more than half guys just do the math there that's more than half that's 40 we'll just round it to 40 i like the nice round numbers right round it to 40 million u.s based spanish speaking folks out there ready to buy your products this is mind-blowing this is a niche within a niche so amazon's already a niche like it, it, as much as it's huge and it's global and you know pretty much everybody has amazon it's still a niche within a niche so inside of this amazon prime box that we all sell in um we're now adding that our hispanic and spanish speaking um us customer base still there so what are some of 